Hello and welcome to the demo video on configuring high availability for Snap Center using external load balancer. With Snap Center centrally managing data protection for enterprise applications, it is a good practice to configure high availability to avoid single node failure as all the schedules are dependent on services running on Snap Center server. So, Snap Center 4.3 added a feature to configure high availability by leveraging FI load balancer. In this case, the user would connect to a virtual name or IP address and the load balancer will route the connections to the Snap Center server which is running an active MySQL database instance. In an event, if the primary node crashes, then the replica node automatically takes over and the Snap Center will continue to run. So let's look at the demo how to configure high availability for Snap Center leveraging the FI load balancer. Two separate standalone Snap Center are installed on Windows Server. Connect to the node one and check the server configuration. Now we go to FI configuration page. For this demo, connection pool is already created in FI outside of SnapCenter setup and the IP address of SnapCenter nodes are added to it. Check the virtual IP address assigned for this HA setup. Now go back to the Node 1 PowerShell interface and configure Node 1 as a part of a cluster group. Check the status of the job from the PowerShell interface or the same can be validated from Snap Center Server Monitor tab. Snap Center Monitor tab shows the step by step detail of the setup. Next, check the status of availability settings from Node 1. Node 1 is added, but the replica copy of MySQL database does not exist. Now add second node to HA configuration. Validate the setup from SE Monitor tab. Now check the overall HA status. You see the current virtual server name assigned to this configuration. The SE nodes that are added to this cluster group. The current active server and the overall replication status. On completion of HA setup, you can connect to the Snap Center server using the virtual IP address. Let's say some hosts are added to the Snap Center and it is performing backup as per schedule. Snap Center is active on node 2. Due to some reason, Snap Center node 2 had to be shut down. Snap Center MySQL database is failed over to another node and the same can be validated from the PowerShell commandlet. User can also validate from the Snap Center monitoring tab. Snap Center workflow continues as usual and user can continue to connect to Snap Center server. Check out more about configuring the high availability for Snap Center from following resources. Thanks for watching the demo.